Okay, well, hello. Um, I'm going to try this tutorial one more time. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to get um, the walls like this. Notice at the top that we don't have um, we don't have to change in walls. Uh, if you're paying close attention, you probably already see what I did there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run through the tutorial anyway. So I'm going to start with a small wall. I'm going to pop it in right here on the corner. I find it's been working better for me that way. And then I'm going to place a big wall and a small wall. This is how we're going to start it out. I'm going to place a wall on top. And you notice that it does this, just like we don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take one of these. I'm going to place it on top. I probably better use this one right here. And if you notice, you can glitch one in really easily right there. I'm going to move this wall now. And if you do it right, you can get it to come down. Well, now I'm going to use the big walls, the long walls. They work better that way. Oh, this is been a day. There we go. That's what I want. I can get the big wall down. You notice it, does, it no longer has a has a, you know the undesirable section on top. You know since I've already started around the base, oh, you'll notice I can continue going. For this section, I'm going to finish with, uh, with these. I think it will have a better aesthetic. But uh, yeah, you notice um, a second ago when I was um, placing this wall, I brought it down too, and it brought this back. The idea is, is um, if you notice when I pull this one, this wall is, you know, within one panel of these sections. You want to have at least uh, two, two lengths between them, you know, from what I've been able to find, to keep them from, uh, from transforming. And uh, that's how you do it. Um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, send me a message on Discord. Uh, and thank you, for your, uh, thank you for watching.